Hello folks, back in 2023, this is M. Dearest. you're watching the M. Dearest Bluegrass Talk Show on YouTube and on Facebook, brought to you by the M. Dearest Bluegrass Productions, one of the finest media companies all around the world, Bluegrass Music, and here's the M. Dearest Bluegrass Talk Show on YouTube and Facebook, stay tuned for the interviews. Hello folks, this is M. Dearest here and um, from the M. Nurse Bluegrass Talk Show, brought to you by the M. Nurse Bluegrass Productions, one of the flies in media economies all around the world, Bluegrass Music. And it's real wall Bluegrass Music. I am live from Rudy Files, right hey, hey, right back. It's one of my faves. And um, I am here in Moorhead, Kentucky at Poppy Mountain Music Festival in Moorhead. Um, um, I'm here with IBMAs, two time IBMAs, um, male vlogs of the year. And great singers and field players and bass players, as well when Tim plays the dobro. Uh, but no, yeah, good how are you doing, buddy? Good, good thinking. Um, and be sure to check out the two singles we'll talk in a minute about that, buddy. And um, the hey, uh, the um, Buddy Mountain's your name, right? That's right. Don't be late for dinner, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, how do you like being back here at Rudy Fest with your band, um, Balls Range? That's been it's great. It's one of the one of my favorite festivals. That, it's just got such incredible energy. The people here are just so into the music, and it just—that's that's my favorite people to play for. People who are just excited about bluegrass. Oh yeah, it's a good thought for sure. But and that's Rudy Fest. And who's everybody knows this, but if people are watching for the first time for Balsam Nation fans, or upcoming fans of Balsam Nation, of Balsam Range. Who's the members in the group? Well, we got uh, Mark Pruitt. Playing the banjo, Tim Sir plays uh, bass, dobro, sings. Uh, we got Caleb Smith on guitar and vocals. I play the fiddles and bass and the vocals. And uh, the newest member, uh, one of the all-time great mandolin players, Alan Bobby, singing and playing uh, mandolin. Oh yeah, he can sing too. Yeah, he's a great guy, great, great singer, great player. And buddy, um, first of all, tell me about the two singles one at a time. Well, we so uh, we've been in the studio working on all new material. Got a whole album. In the can recorded. We've uh, stay tuned for that. Yeah, we've been mixing. We've released two now off of that new project coming out. The first one was called What the Years Do, a great song that a good friend of mine, Adam Wright, wrote. And uh, the newest one that just went out a week or about a week ago is called Snake Charmer. It's a Milo Miller song. Oh, yeah. It's a real fun up tempo song. Yeah, you do a great job with Milo Miller also with your solo career. And you have yeah, Milo and I go way back. Uh, and um, you guys have a um, you guys have. A record label together, Mountain yeah. and Miller Music. Yeah, record. yeah, we've been well, we've been creating. Mal and I've been creating music together for for a long, long time, thirty you know years. We, he's from my same hometown, and so we we played music as friends, and then we started collaborating. We've been in bands together, and then when Balsam Rain started, mylon has been a huge contributor to our song by in writing. So yeah, yeah great, great part. Of our um, and buddy, um, I know, yep, what the years do. Um, Bob Sonray had written a couple songs before Al Miller. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, what was that ex difference with the other songs he has done, you guys have done, and he wrote? Um, what was the difference, and what was it like getting that song played on the out, on the out first single and everything? And what was that experience like to have that song played with the do? Well, it's been it's been a song I've been wanting to do for a long time. I've been talking to Adam about doing that song three or four years ago. Kind of had it on hold, wait for the right time. And uh, so it's exciting to hear it. It's just a very powerful, lyrically, meaningful song. And, and so it's uh, it's great to see it. People embracing it and liking it. It's a great song. Oh, yes. And, um, and then Snake, what was the second one again? Snake Charm. What was that like to get that song um, done with Balls of Rage? Uh, it's just a fun song. It's a very interesting, quirky, catchy song. Mylon wrote it and uh, with, with Beth, husband, and sent it to me. And it was this laughing thing. It's just kind of a... A funny kind of quirky but I said my that's a hugely very catchy song I said I'd like, I'd like to record it and, uh, it's gonna be a great one it's just a, a really fun song we'll play it tonight oh yeah it's gonna be on those both songs are gonna be on the second set but I'm not gonna say what order and but I will say it's uh, those two songs are the best songs yet yeah they're great and, and uh, Stay that's, tuned that. that's just to, that's just to kind of to give you an idea of what this album's gonna be like we got 12 songs finished and they are all great songs oh, equally yeah. as great and uh, I'm excited about getting a new project out. oh yes and buddy um, 
How do you like my big head right here? I'm loving it, man. That's you. Yeah, yeah I love you got the big head now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember last year when we did this interview? I know uh, a lot of people watching the short on YouTube. Yeah. Remember when you, you, um, Darren Nicholson, the former member of Balsam Ranch, remember he told me to get rid of that junior says hat? Remember, what was that like to be on the interview with Tim, <laughs> Caleb, and, but, and of course Darren, the former member, and you and yourself and the fiddle, being part of that interview last year? What was that like to see that again in the in the YouTube or Facebook? Oh, yeah, it was so, funny. You know, think about it, you get characters like those guys together. You never know what somebody's going to say. They're always poking and trying, trying to have fun. And being, uh, so you just got to be on your toes and be ready for anything with that bunch. Oh, yeah, of course. And, oh, oh, they did get, oh, they did give me a good hat, but um, it's a Ron Vincent hat, but um, yeah. all the juice. Oh, they did get, that was good that Tim gave me. Yeah, Balsam Range Thanks, had to Balsam replace Ranger. Well, Junior, you know, Junior's a big fight. The bluegrass music's so different than most. We travel around, we get to be with all these bands, and we become friends, and Junior Sisk is a huge fan. I just like Russell Moore, and it's kind of been interesting for me to, uh, these guys who have been my heroes, I never thought that I would get to be friends with people like Terry Balk and Russell Moore and Alan Bobby and, and all these greats, so, you know. Like Dan Tominski. Yeah, like Dan Tominski, that's right. Yeah. So it's the difference in our, our this kind of music. Oh yes, and um, what was, I mean, you're from Hayward County, of course, but yeah. what part of Hayward County, um, what was Well, that? you know, Hayward County's regionally, you know, we kind of, we always, we have Canton. Canton is the town where the paper mill is, and recently it got announced it was closing down. Yeah, so I it's, heard uh, about you know, one of the big songs we had is called Paper Town, which is about our town and our home It's like a Paper Town Bruce Radio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tim does North it. Carolina. Tim yeah. does a great job, by the way. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, and nephew Carter does a great job with him. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, but anyway. Oh, thank you, Darren Nicholson, for get, telling me to get rid of the juice hat. Huh? <laughs> but I'm not getting rid of this one. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, fans. Good hat, though, with this one, though. Hey. But, hey, buddy, thank you so much. Man, Seriously, thank you for everything you're doing. Yeah. And please, uh, please check out Buddy Mountain and Russell Balsam Ranch at balsamrange.com. Yes, please. Oh, one more question, though. Uh, when is that festival you guys run every year? So we do a festival called the Balsam Range Art and Music Festival. It's the first weekend in December uh, at Lake Junaluska. It's an indoor festival, um, and it's it's just a really all kinds of different stuff going on. But it, yeah, stay tuned for the lineup though. But but I mean the bands though. But um, what's uh, is it, how many years since you've done it now? Gosh, it's been coming on ten years. We've been doing that festival, but uh, it's a it's just a lot of fun, and we have we do some different things with that festival. We play our music both nights we play one night with a full orchestra which is different we play uh, yeah but we we have all kinds of different groups coming but it's a really great great venue and great fun thanks for thinking about it yeah. you're welcome buddy and i'll hopefully come there sometime in the future but yeah, and buddy um the um you got a lot of fans here and um, and um thank you for what you do for man thank you and be sure to, if you guys if you have buddy nominated from Mel Wilkins, um, I consider it personally both for this guy. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. thanks so much, buddy. Yeah, man. I'm Evan Derrickson from the Younger Sports Production. Like my big fat head says, uh, <laughs> it's brought to you by the Evan Derrickson Bluegrass Productions. You folks take care, and buddy and I are going this way now. And All right. The thumbs up, though, buddy. All right, see you. <laughs>